Oh, bruh. All right, here we go. All right, y'all ready? Okay, and set. I hate that every episode got to start with this goofy ass sketch, dude. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it. Colin, don't do it. You ain't never had contact with a woman before. You might nut everywhere. Hold on. Don't do it, man. You're not ready. What if, what if he just tapped it and just... Man, that was hard to watch. Looks like I'm gonna have to help my boy out here a little bit. Come on, Colin! Uh, all right, yes. all right, all right, all right. Get out games? Dog. What kind of games are these? This is gonna be so fun. Oh, is this shit an escape room? <laughs> Tonight is going to be a little bit different than the dates that you're used to. One, because you're all dating the same guy. Oh, that's totally normal here in Utah. What are you talking about, Remy? <laughs> Two, because on this date, you're all trying to escape. That is some Ted Bundy shit right here. Remy about to lock them all up. What we're going to do is we're going to see how well you guys can do under pressure tonight. Why do they film this shit next to a cell tower? What are they doing? Now, the catch is that Colin is actually not going to be in the room with you guys. <laughs> I'm not going to say escape rooms are the whitest shit. I'm going to say that's some first world shit, though. We consume fear by choice. Other people consume fear uh, out of environment. That's a very first world thing to uh, just engage fear. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know I don't really have any money right now. I can't pay rent. But I'm really on a breakthrough, and I think I'm on to something. Why don't they hit this with some music? Make it dramatic, you fucking doofus. Maybe she may have turned herself into a zombie? <laughs> oh man, she's terrified of an invisible zombie, but she got no problem with a fucking being in a batting cage. A batting cage is way scarier than that shit, bro. Look, Anna Lee don't give a fuck. Bro, how they how they finna edit this uh <laughs> this fucking life hack tutorial music to a fucking escape room and does he just stand in that bitch? That shit is <laughs> this would take me out the experience right here. Oh goofball right here. That zombie popped out. He didn't do shit. He's a terrible actor. Two out of ten. You know what? They need to do that in a horror film. Just this shit. And then somebody just getting stabbed to death. Which is honestly the worst Shakespeare film, but it's so heartwarming. <laughs> This is every edgy kid on Twitter right here, just t chaining themselves up in, the, in, in their own bedroom, <laughs> begging that their parents would come in there. <laughs> yeah, this is an e-girl right here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> when the anime kid gets loose. <laughs> uh, they did very well. Uh, they worked together as a team. Awesome. And their distraction skills were on point. It was excellent. Man, that was it? That was just it. That was just it. They just got out and that was it? It was excellent. <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro. That was terrible. Hey. Hey. How are you? Good, oh, he at the old chick's house. Good. He went to his mom's yeah. house. Awesome. Okay, let's go. Uh, what? Bro, he was, he had the, he was whipping in the Ford Focus with the rims. 
in the last episode, Colin's down bad, bro. Shit done changed. Well, hey guys, welcome to Class Ropes course. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. So we're gonna do a few things, help you guys build some trust with each other. It's gonna be a blast if you guys have any questions while you go. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Oh, they put a slack he line. Wow, okay. Alright. I don't even feel like I'm watching a TV show. I feel like I'm watching a, a stock footage reel. Like, I just typed in um, Mormons doing oh, yeah. things, and that's all I'm watching. What are these Cast Utah activities? I don't know, man. Spider Man. I'm living my dream right now. <laughs> Today's been super fun. Um, I've had a really good time just hanging out with Colin and doing lots of different adventurous activities. Was it? Because this was boring as shit to us. I'm getting way the fuck past. Okay, so him and the mom did some rope climbing. <laughs> this shit is comically regular, man. This shit is kind of this I can relate to. <laughs> Take, taking somebody to a a fusion spot. So, do you know how to use chopsticks? Kind of. <laughs> All right. Okay, so they have this I don't know like little saying in Taiwan, where the closer you hold your chopsticks to the bottom, that's how close your future spouse is in proximity. To no you. way, really? Oh, so the closer you could get on the tip the closer you get to your spouse. She's inviting him to soak. So, I don't know, I was kind of curious. I wanted to ask, why is it that you've never had a girlfriend? All right, wow, well, that's, that's a good question. <laughs> she asking them cougar questions, homie. Tell the truth, bro, why are you single? I don't know, I think I was more focused in like high school, just like doing schoolwork and like mm -hmm. sports and stuff. What, 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 what? I'm talking about high school like it's college. Fuck out of here. And like, I think it's really important to just like communicate your expectations to not like, I don't know, a, a couple of times I've been on a date where the guy's like, okay, so like, what's our next date? I'm like, yeah. I didn't know there was that sort of expectation or like assumption that there had to be. I didn't know you wanted a second date. All right, that's, that's up to uh, me. Capiche, motherfucker, I'll let you know when we're gonna see each other again, okay? Yeah. <laughs> So like, where do you see yourself in a few years? What are your next big plans? Needing to graduate soon. Yes. Uh, soon being like, I don't know, a year and a half to two years okay. probably. Um, I want to go to grad school. Um, I really would love <sighs> to study. Oh God, okay. <laughs> These, two mo These motherfuckers love homework. Ugh. On Brigham Young, if somebody don't start derfing in the next two seconds, that's what, dog, that's what we need. That, you know what? I'm going to go to Utah, and I'm going to produce, um, I guess we just call it uh, the Bad Boys Club. You know, it'd be a play on a uh, Bad Girls Club. You know what I'm saying? People getting walked in on while derfing. <laughs> so, we're here at another rose ceremony. On tonight, you have eight girls left. How you feeling? You know, I'm looking forward to tonight. They could put a windscreen on the microphone. These motherfuckers doing this shit and... <sighs> All right, here they come. Not literally, because they don't know how to do that. <laughs> what the fuck are they sipping on? What are they sipping on? Is this apple cider? Is this fucking the leftover water in a beer keg? This shit got looked like it got pulp. A lot of pulp in it. All right, welcome ladies. Tonight is the night. I'm really excited to get to talk to you. And, uh, well, I guess let's, let's just start. Woo! So, cheers. cheers. Did his parents ever teach him social cues? Jesus, bro. Hey, so do you want to... Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna... I, it's okay. I'll take it. Oh, come on. Oh. Let's go. Sorry. Oh, man, that was scripted then a motherfucker. Get out of here. Nice try. It was a nice well, try right there. Would be that was Andy a nice Ross. try. Um, also, Kate is really cool. Hopefully, she does me another magic trick. <laughs> I wish he just broke bad right here. I wish he just broke. 
Uh, I wish she would show me another magic trick, okay? How to make my balls disappear. <laughs> I, I really, I really hope she does that, man, because I'm, I'm tired of waiting out here. And now he horny, he horny now. He want to let it fly. I don't really know what's up, but I'm going to call Megan and see, see what, how things are going. Your call has been forwarded to an automated... Shoot, she didn't even answer. He got six wives ready to go, and he's still calling his side wife. Wow. So, you grabbed me first. Let's toast to it. All right. When the deep red lipstick come out, first of all, you, just, you know it's on, bro. You know it's on. Would you hold this for me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Can you can you hold this for me? <sighs> Thank you. I will take that drink. <laughs> So, um, tell me about your trip. Um, oh man, there's so much to say. Uh, it was life-changing. It was amazing. Um, it was really special for me, just like, after my mission, getting to go back to another place that was like, had so much spiritual significance. It's been 30 minutes of this shit. Ugh, this is like dinner conversations when I get invited to somebody else's house, and you just sitting there like, like, oh, let's let it fly, watch. After my mission, getting to go back to another place that was like, had so much spiritual significance. We got yeah. to travel to lots of amazing places and learn lots of amazing things just about Christ. And um, I just loved being in a place where I was experiencing like lots of new cultures. I've hey, heard... I'm so sorry, Colin, can we go for a chat quickly? Um, yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> look at that fucking side eye. <laughs> Look at that side eye. Yep. Ain't nothing Mormon or holy about oh, this yeah. face. That's the question I get asked the most is like, is this serious? Is this real? You know? And I mean, clearly it's real. Like we're here, we're spending time doing it. We're having fun. We're making memories. And that is such a fuck boy thing to say. So is this real? Yeah, dude, it's real. I'm here, aren't I? Like, this is real. This is real life. I'm here. We're all real. I'm fucking here, dude. Just stop asking so many questions and when are we gonna derf? <laughs> I really enjoyed my one-on-one -on -one date with Colin. Like, a lot. It was a lot of fun. I think that things are right where I want them to be. Fam, if, hey, fellas, if you're feeling bad about yourself, if Colin can get his own bullshit YouTube show and have this going on for him you can do it too okay just you just gotta go to utah you change, you filthy animal. <laughs> all right Annalie. is to ex tell you my most embarrassing story and then hope that you have one to share back with me so okay <laughs> it's big right and this is really big that i'm sharing this but it was my first year at girls camp and we go to camp since in vegas and it's like the first time any of us have seen trees because we live in the desert and so we're tripping bruh Annalie, i'm tired i'm tired if you're watching this right now i'm tired and i ain't even there you talk fast girl fast okay 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 so 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 let me tell you um so 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 uh one time at girls camp <laughs> all the g girls way too excited right now they're like girls camp what'd you do at the girls camp <laughs> And it was right around the time that the movie The Conjuring came out. And so we were all like, oh, let's play hide and clap. So I'm ready for when she comes running at me. I pick up this log. When she comes running at me after I clap, I'm going to throw the wood. She's going to hear it. And she's going to go run towards that and not me. It hits her straight in the face. It splits in half. And her she just drops to the ground. She is sobbing. Why is Annalie always getting in violence, dude? Her leg is fucked up. She hitting people with wood. She getting in fights. That's a fucking awesome story, and she managed to tell it in the most boring way possible, man. You know what it was? It was way too many steps. Bitch derf my boy, so I logged her ass. <laughs> you want to fucking derf my boyfriend? You fucking... <laughs> uh, I know Colin's going to tweet at me later. Hey, man, I know it was a stupid thing. He's going to say something real wholesome and genuine, and I'm going to feel like an asshole. One thing that not only I have noticed, but a lot of the girls have noticed, he has super cold hands. Like, they're ice packs attached to his wrists. He ain't got no pulse? He a snake? Cold hands? That's a no-go. Clammy hands? Some of you in VIP, you got fucking straight up salamander hands, dude. You go for the handshake and I, I'm pretty sure you're dead. Yeah. 
I feel like I'm holding on to a cadaver. I'm like, who the? Okay. And I wanted to hear a little about your your dating life. How has it been? I uh, I refused to date in high school. Right. I thought. I get that. I, I did too. Yeah. So. I just thought high school relationships were stupid. I mean this. I mean there are the like people who actually find love in high school, and which is awesome, and I totally yearning for them. But like I knew for me, because I moved halfway through my junior year of high school, that moving to Arizona. Those friends I made were gonna go on their missions or they were gonna go to college. And like we were gonna all be going our separate ways. And I'm not a person that would wait for someone on their mission. Hey. Hey. So I wanted to get to know you a little better, but I just wanna ask, like, is there anything in life you wish you could change or you regret? I don't know. Ooh. I've always had like a pretty Ooh. crazy life. Dang, bro. She came with the heavy hitting shit. Is there anything about yourself that you would change? Cause I could tell you one. But yeah, I guess like regrets. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I wish I had, I don't know, stuck with volleyball more. I don't know. No way, really? At my high school, there wasn't a volleyball team, so I just didn't play. But, like, I just okay. wish I had done more of that. Yeah. Volleyball? Out of all the shit? Volleyball? Man? Nothing else? Not like I wish I'd, wish I got high. I know volleyball is a Mormon thing. That's a very, you, they like basketball, too. So... I know last time I asked if I could still kiss, and you said you weren't comfortable, and I totally respect that, so don't even worry about it. But do you trust me? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I guess I'll never know what I'm missing out on. Unless I try. Oh! I guess I do trust you a little bit. Hey, well, can I still second kiss before someone else tells you? I guess we do that. Motherfucker. He went. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That shit hurt, bro. <laughs> that hurt me, son. He, oh man. I think he put his lips in his mouth and then he went in. He was like. They did not just kiss. Wait, who's. They're cheering? They're cheering. Fam, what? Wait, who's... I just had Ligma. <laughs> what does that even mean, son? What if he was in there just kissing that bitch? Just like... And then out of nowhere, somebody came in and just swung on his ass. He just... Oh, <laughs> shit. What the... Bitch? <laughs> She did not just kiss him. That's so rude. <laughs> hey, Siva said she about to get another log. <laughs> oh, you want to kiss? You want to kiss, my? Okay, all right, hold up. That's fine. Where are you going, bitch? Get over here, bitch. I'm actually appalled. I thought me and Colin had something really good going on, and she's just going to... I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of hurt that they just kissed. He did what? Oh, oh okay, all right, all right, nah, it's cool. It's cool, I thought it was something, you know? <laughs> I thought it was something, now I just got to fade his ass. <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. Cause like, I had this whole plan, you know, set up where I was like, hey, I'm just gonna tease him a little bit here and there. And then out of the blue, he just kissed me and I was like, what? Nah. No, he didn't actually, because that wasn't a kiss. That wasn't even soaking, because no, there's nothing wet about it. You just... So, I only just kissed Colin, um, and I'm a bit confused, because, like, the last time we were here, he rejected her, um, and I just don't know how I feel right now. You did what with who? I thought I was special. Then he goes, you are special. Let me show you. Unfortunately, we only have four roses to give out, so two of you will be going home tonight. Dang, bro. Come on whenever you're ready. All right, here we go. With the drama. <laughs> Elena? Okay, of course. Hell yeah. Thank you. Annalie Ross? Okay. <clears throat> Annalie's still in the running. If he doesn't give the kissing girl a rose, I'm a chuckle, man. Okay. <clears throat> oh. On God? 
Come on, man. We know what it is. Ladies, this is the final rose. We know what it is, man. Call in when you're ready. Emily Crandall. Howdy do, motherfuckers. It's Weezy, baby. Niggas bitching and I got a tough death. <laughs> Listen close. I got duct tape and rope. I leave you missing like the fucking old oh. bannons. <laughs>